Tonight, police in Cleveland Heights pleading for your help after three deadly shootings in just two weeks. The most recent is 24-year-old Reginald Thomas Jr. He was riding in a vehicle that was heading down South Taylor Road in Cleveland Heights when he was shot from a car driving behind him. Thomas died early Saturday morning. Then Malik Moore was shot and killed September 12th. Police are still investigating that shooting, which happened along Oakdale. And on September 16th, Trayvon Powell was shot three times in the staircase of his apartment building in the 2400 block, and he was killed. Cleveland Heights Police Chief calling the spike in violence unprecedented for the city. We are going to do everything in our power, number one, to solve them, but number two, to prevent them. And that means increasing patrols. That means uh, calling on our other law enforcement partners to help us. Police say two people were arrested in connection to Powell's death, 21-year-old Jamonte Carter and 20-year-old Taylor Johnson. Police still looking for the dark-colored car involved in Thomas's death. Two people are facing charges tonight after a chase in North Olmsted. Police started chasing this car after an officer learned the owner had a warrant for his arrest and a suspended license. The driver then merged onto 480 westbound, reaching speeds of 90 miles per hour. As police continue to follow, a passenger can be seen throwing rounds of ammunition out the window. The driver later tries to get on the turnpike, but you see the truck there. He blocked him. The car has to go into the grassy area next to the toll booth. Police come out. They arrest the driver and another passenger for having a gun. Two other passengers in this car, uh, they were there, but they have not been charged.